Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, listeners. Um, <laughs> it's a wonderful day. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And um, today is the um, 19th of September. So, uh, what do you call the, the, almost, almost about to end. But um, we, are, we are thankful to be in the presence of God and the program A Walk with Jesus. And I'm, I'm blessed. My guest here one more time, um, Hua. Welcome yeah. to the program. Hi. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so listeners, um, today we're coming your way with one interesting, powerful message that I think we will not be able to finish the entire subject, but we'll kind of give an overview, and, and um, if God permit, maybe in our next meeting we will go deeper into some of the things that we'll talk about today, but um, we'll give a general scope of what we'll be discussing today. And um, that subject, what is the subject? Subject called, uh, I think everybody has that, but everybody sometimes does, not everybody want to admit that. It's called fear. Um, I'm experiencing that because recently I, uh, somehow I was, uh, uh, I'm assigned to a new role, which uh, um, exceeds a little bit beyond my uh, capability or uh, my lifestyle or uh, even my um comfortability zone. Uh, so I have some fear and I share that with my friend Justice. Uh, and even I shared when I was um, shared with my manager. Um, but what I got from Justice is uh, powerful. Um, how you overcome fear. And I also um, want to share this experience with everybody here, how we overcome fear. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. So, so friends, um, we, we, we do not only just come out with programs for a walk with Jesus, but we, we want to bring more practical life lessons, things that are happening to us day in, day out. And so that we will, somebody's life will be encouraged. Somebody's life will be empowered. Uh, our, the goal of this program is to, to, to bring everybody to Christ. And in our walk with Christ, we, we begin to see what do we need to do to be able to walk with him mm -hmm. in a life that is full with so many uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So today, as we, 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 we're about to talk on the subject fear and, and giving that background, that's, that's powerful. So what is fear? Somebody will ask, what is fear? What is fear in your opinion? Fear is not uh, like not trusting yourself or not trusting like not be able to trust the capability you have or some kind of focus you should have or some belief you should have. Hmm. That's the fear. It's not um, like for, for my experience, kids usually don't have much fear because they trust parents hmm. and they uh, didn't experience, uh, didn't experience much uh, like they didn't experience the bad things that happened to them, like which caused them to lose the faith. Mm. So that's what I, yeah. Wow. My interpretation is, and 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 mm. and and that is powerful because when we lose the ability of our own courage, mm -hmm. so you, you are saying in essence, the loss of loss of courage, or loss of ability in self, mm -hmm. is fear, mm -hmm. right? And, and as you rightly, the example you gave that kids do not fear. So let's say you have a baby and you throw that baby in the air. The baby is not scared. Mostly the baby, they rather start to smile. They start smiling. Why? They, they believe that mommy is going to hold me again. Yeah, of course. I'll fall in a good hand. Yeah. So why at that tender age, we'll look, we'll, we'll look at that. We'll look, we'll look, we'll look into mm -hmm. that. So, your definition, I love your definition, you said the inability, when we lost courage in self, or when we, when, when, when we, 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 we are unable to trust ourselves, right, then fear grips in. And I, I was looking into the dictionary, it says, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. That that's that's that's, that's the definition um, I got um, uh, 
you know, when, when, when we describe fear as a noun, as a name of a thing, and then when it is described as a verb, it says something that is likely to be dangerous or something that is likely to be painful or threatening. So something that makes you scared. You, you, you like, let's say somebody walk behind you and you didn't know the person is coming and the person touches you or the person makes a, a, a noise or something. Then you jump out of yourself. Like, you scared me. Mm -hmm. So, so it's fear. So, meaning naturally, human. So it says an an, an unpleasant emotional what emotion. So, which means it's, it's something that is part of us. When you look at it, it's, it's mm -hmm. part of the fiber of the human being that we have fear in us. So, my, my this led me to my next question to ask: Is fear evil? Fear is not evil. Um, fear is. I think we have natural thing that comes with us. Sometimes fear is a good thing because uh, we should fear God um, because it's justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my name, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like God is law, right? But God is also justice. So for that reason, we should fear. We should be careful with uh, what do we say and what we do. Yeah. Fear is not a bad thing, um, but fearless, fearless. Uh, on the other hand, fearless can be a good or bad. Yeah, that's why I like uh, um, fearless can um, make you successful, or can make you evil. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So 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 so. The point is fear evil. As you said, you remember the, the, our first broadcast. You know when I when when I had opportunity to to host you, you mentioned that most Chinese, nothing against Chinese, but you said by by your core, by your development, you were trained not to not to be to be independent, mm -hmm. and that independence gave you the ability, most most of them, not to believe that there is any God, right? Mm -hmm. Because they believe. Hey, I'm fearless. I can do by my hard work. I will be able to achieve anything. So there is no need for me to be to be scared, or there is no need to, for me to even subject myself to any god, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, so in that sense, meaning meaning you, you become fearless, not even even towards your creator. So, so when it goes, it, it crosses that boundary, then then. You, you 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 are you are you are live when you leave God out of your life out of your emotions mm -hmm. that oh I'm courageous I'm a bold guy I'm a, I'm mm -hmm. a strong guy mm -hmm. then you are not demonstrating you are, you are you are not in line you are you are not fearing God you are not referencing Him right. so that that is not the that that so that that puts fear to the wrong to be negated yeah but when you when 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 you reference your life to God when you reference your actions your emotions to God then you fear God, you reference him. So like a child, again, mm -hmm. the child mm -hmm. who referenced the parent, mommy said, don't go there, babe, baby. Don't, don't touch this. Then the sister comes and says, touch it. Let's go take this. And so no, mommy said, we mm -hmm. should not touch mm -hmm. this. It does not mean that they are scared of mommy, yeah. but because they reference mommy, they respect mommy's voice, mm -hmm. they, they, they obey, to obey, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Obedience to God, obedience to your rulers, obedience to whoever is ahead of you is, is, is in a form. You are not scared of him. You are not afraid of him, but you are showing reference, reference. to the yeah. person. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you showing respect to the person. You giving honor to the person. So it happens in friendship to how can two work if they do not agree? If we are friends, it does not mean that I'm scared of you. That is why I respect you. But I respect you because I give you honor. And then it goes, you know, hand, hand, hand in hand out. So friendships break up when parties do not respect or honor each other anymore. So now, not to digress from the topic at hand. So I want us to look at how does fear comes in? Sometimes, or mainly, what are some of the types of fears that we have? 
you know, if you can list some of them, you know, fear of the past, you know, so if you can list some, some, some types of fear. I think it's far come from some bad experience. Mm -hmm. Like my son, he wasn't born with fear. Mm -hmm. But when he fell off from the, um, the slides, next time he step on, he, is, um, he doesn't want to step on the slide. Mm -hmm. So once he had that bad experience, he is scared. Mm. And he had a bad experience, like he uh, fell off, uh, he bumped onto the table and he got stitches on his lips. And then uh, he is very scared, when he sees doctors, very scared. So that's from the experience. Mm. Um, a lot of us had fear because the experience we had or the experience some, some, someone else had. So we, um, we saw that. So we don't want to, um, like, be the victim of that. Of the same situation. Yeah. So that's a fear. It doesn't mean uh, it's your personal experience always. It could be others. It could be others. A lot of time it's other experience uh, that scared you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you, uh, if I under, to, to reiterate what you said, meaning our past, our past, Past fears, that's, the, that's the, the, the one you're talking about, past fear or mm. past experiences, past negative experiences, let me mm. qualify it, mm. past negative experiences can, 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 can scare you to hell. You'll you be like, you know what, I passed by this road and life wasn't too good for me mm -hmm. when I walked that path. Mm. I am not treading on that path anymore. Mm -hmm. So as you said, the baby, I remember recently I went to a friend's place and his son, her son, we were going to the basement and looking at how steep the basement, the stairs and everything, the son looked at it, I ain't coming. <laughs> he said, uh -uh, I'm not coming, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then I went and carried him. Yeah. When I carried him, we were going downstairs. He held me, uh -huh. like, he held me so firm Mm -hmm. You you can feel it that he was scared, uh -huh. but he clinged to me. Okay. Why? He might have. The mom said he rolled on the stairs before. Oh, okay. So he knew okay. this. This is dangerous. Yeah. This is danger. Mm -hmm. In our life as children of God, past experiences, past bad experiences, hold us to ransom. Mm -hmm. That makes us so scared. Could it be a, a friendship that you were in and a friend betrayed you? Could it be that an exam, you know, school activity you engaged in and you lost? Could it be that, you know, an assignment that was given to you maybe at work mm -hmm. and you woefully performed, you, 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 you performed mm -hmm. so abysmally that you are so scared that, uh -uh, you know what, I am not going to attempt this anymore. Or a road accident? Something. You wanted to say or something. Someone <laughs> else's marriage failure that scare you off the whole marriage thing. I see lots of people, like Americans, uh, they have so many, so many failed marriage. Uh, so that many people choose to just stay in relationships rather than marriage. Mm -hmm. So I have co-workers like that. I have friends like that. So they just say they are... They don't want to try that. Yeah. The experience. So yeah. that, that's that's a very very <laughs> critical one. You know, uh, of course, um, yet to get in, <laughs> but yeah. um, uh, it's it's a very very valid point to say that hey, if I can see what is happening to the Joneses, uh, Mary is not. A, uh, uh, let me let me let me be let me be by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want to experience the heartbreaks. Right. So. Our past, our past baggages, our past, you know, experiences, bad, I mean, bad, the past is not evil, but the bad things that happen to us, and if we clinch on them, today that we want to make a move, remembering those bad experiences can paralyze you, can, can just put you to a standstill, stationary point where you cannot move. Mm -hmm. and, and it is deadly. So now we'll move to the next uh, form of fear, where the fear of the unknown, 
the fear of the future. Yeah, yes. the fear, the fear of the future. Have you, you experienced that? I know you from <laughs> Africa. Yeah, that's two years that's, ago. Is 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 it? it in, in almost all my life, before I even go to college, I was scared. Um, how I'm gonna leave? That was the first time leaving my parents. I was like, huh, how is it gonna be? How is college? Like they said, they you know uh, bullies. There are bullies in college and all that. I was scared. And you know, coming to an unknown country, father, mother, nobody is here. I don't know anybody. I just get on the plane. Even get on the plane. You know, so there are people even that don't even get on the plane. They are scared mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. on the plane. Let alone get on the plane you are miles away like thousands of miles away from your family i was scared i was scared the fear of the unknown uh, have i got into exam halls i'm going to take an exams so scared i don't know what is going to come i don't know whether i'm going to pass this exam so i'm mm -hmm. going to fail mm -hmm. and and some of those exams are like the decider the decider for your destiny mm -hmm. whether when you pass you make it through if you fail mm -hmm. you're not going to make it through ah. So, so fear of the future is, is, can be paralyzing, can be, can be scary. What yeah. do you have to say on that? That I have a lot to share because I also came from another country when I was young. And I was the youngest uh, children in my family. I was taken good care of. So uh, my parents assume I'm very independent. Uh, I'm very dependent, sorry. Mm. Then I had to be totally independent, so I I went through that experience. Um, it's basically you have a big, big uh, like hole in your heart that you don't know how to fill things in. You have, to, but you have to walk. You have to keep on exploring, right? You have to walk forward. You you cannot stop. You have to go through that. Uh, once you go through that, you, oh, you look back and you think, okay, that's it. Then uh, you grow up. So everybody experienced that because there are lots of things new they have never tried. Um, but you can find some kind of reference, some kind of reference that will give you some kind of support. Reference from... Like, thank God I know this. Um, I know scripture. But at that time, I got reference from my friend, um, reference from my uh, professors, reference from someone uh, who uh, more mature than me. So they, they, could, they will give you lots of like, knowledge, experience, those kind of support to help you to go through that exploration period. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so you, uh, uh, it, per what you're saying, meaning in, in, in that state of our life where we can unfold the puzzle, mm. the, the, the life becomes so mysterious. Like the future, you don't know what's going to happen. I, 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 I've never been a married man before. So, how is it going to be? A teenager wanted to become an adult. Maybe you are listening to us. Like, Wait, today I'm 12 years. Hey. He said, I'm going to live 70 years? Ha! Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. That alone is scary already. Mm -hmm. So the child is like, ah, I'm going to be a mother one day. I'm going to be a, a boss one day. I'm going to have my drive car one day. So, so the fear of the future can... So, 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 and, and, I, and I see, the, I see you, you, you transitioning even into how do we solve this, mm -hmm. right? So which means that fear of the past and fear of the future can deny us our present day joy. Correct. Yeah. It's uh, some people I see, um, like people choose to stay in a country. Like they are so fearful, like they have to live alone. They choose to stay with their parents, uh, live with the, the environment they are familiar with. Mm. So they stay. A lot of people just choose to stay. They don't want to make a move. They don't want to make a move. So my son, from my son's experience, he's so fearful with what happened past, he chooses not to try it again mm. <laughs> on the slide. Mm. <laughs> Unless, right, I, I, I keep on saying, You're okay, forcing. I'm here to protect you, right? Uh, come on, yeah, I encourage it, put lots of encouragement to him. Then he tried a little bit. Mm. Then once he feel like, okay, um, I can make it to, uh, this time, so he will try it next time. Mm. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. So, so th this is leading me to a thought that I, 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 I thought of. When we 
we are crippled by our past experience, our past fears, negative fears, and so downhearted, scared of tomorrow, it makes our present life frustrating. Mm -hmm. It makes us, that's why some people live in stress. Some people, they are healthy, walking, children are okay, everything. But you see them, they are, they, 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 they are not themselves. You ask them, you say, you know what, I'm just scared of, I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Look at the wars around us. Look at the, you know, murders around us. Look at all. So, so when, you, when you look at what the news, they, they are like, Look at these illnesses, sicknesses, because our fathers, our, our parents did not have, there was, so, there was not so many much illnesses and all these diseases and everything are surrounding them like mm -hmm. our present day. Mm -hmm. So looking at the occurrences of, of, of our present day, somebody could just be could lost mm -hmm. the present. Why? By relying or by being scared of the tomorrow. And being scared of yesterday. So this, this brings me to, to, to this point where we are launching into how do we solve this. Now, you... So I was telling somebody yesterday, the person was asking me, Justice, why is it that you, most of the time, you, you, you smile? You are, you are just happy going all around. I said, you know what? I have, I, have, I have grown to understand two things in life. There are some things that I can control. There are some things I cannot control. Mm -hmm. So... Yesterday is history. Mm. It, it, is, it is past and there is no way I can go back. All the mess I made yesterday, I can correct them. So it took me a long time. I wouldn't say I have completely, you know, overcome it. I'm still a work in progress, but I have learned to let go of the past. Let go of the past mistakes and know that, hey, today that I'm alive, I think I have another chance. I have another shot. And that is what made greatest inventors, people who have achieved something in life, they are people who have, despite all the tragedies they go through, they said, you know what, I will make a move. I will let go of my past. And for the future, they're like, you know what, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll keep on digging. Mm -hmm. I'll keep on making a move. So this leads us to the question, how do we solve or how do we cure Fear. Any ex personal experience to share? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can share. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, you can share. You can share. You uh, from my part, or um, I think uh, we have talked about this. I think action, action, action always always kills fear. There's an old story in Chin Chinese. Uh, I think most people know. Uh, very familiar. Uh, there's a um, like a pony. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to go cross the river. He saw, um, he went to ask different uh, kind of friends. So he saw the river. He doesn't know how deep the water is. So he has some kind of fear. Like, can I be able to, am I able to pass it, go through that? He asked like um, a rabbit. He asked uh, um, something like a mouse. So they both say, okay, it's too deep because those are small animals, right? Uh, if you... Step into the water, you'll be, uh, you die. And he, he asked a, a, a cattle. Cattle said, oh, no, it's a, not a big deal, right? It's so shallow. So that small, the pony, he didn't get anything, right? And somebody told him, like, it's too deep. There are some people uh, telling him it's shallow. So he got confused. Mm -hmm. So he, in the end, he decided to try. Just step into the water and try it. And then the water is not too shallow, not too deep. Hmm. Just like right, uh, like right death. So it, this story, like everybody knows, right? Uh, it's it's you have to be be able to uh, give it a try, give it a shot. Hmm. Then you you was you experience that. Then that experience will actually help you to solve the uncertainty, uh, like the anxiousness you had. And then it will give you a, like a different world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened to all of us. Mm. The first job interview. Oh, yeah. I'm so scared. <laughs> I was so scared. Uh, 
But what you have to go go to the interview. You have no choice.、Mm-hmm. You have to go to the interview to get a job.、Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you don't go interview. There is no not 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 no job. So you have no choice. You go that、um, no matter you fail or you know, no matter you、um, get okay. Yeah, you have to go there. So you but the the going to the interview give you experience to go through another one. And the next interview, you 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 won't be that scared.、Mm. But、wow. some, some like in, in some situations, we have a choice. We can choose to go or not to go.、Um, like marriage, let's say、um, some people like they see their parents divorced.、Uh, the kids, if they grow up in a divorced family, they see their parents divorced. They see their parents to going through lots of struggling in their relationship. The kids can choose not to. Marry, not to、uh, stay with、uh, uh, one spouse. They probably can just date always, always、uh, go dating always, but not to get married, not to get a commitment, get committed to the marriage. But me, I, I, I honestly, I grew up in a family full of、um, pressure,、uh, full of intense、um, stress.、Um, my parents they argue a lot、uh, when I grew up. So I had one time I、um, kind of fearful of my the other、um, half like sh- should I、uh, go ahead pursue marriage or should I stay just myself alone?、Mm. I hesitated,、um, but you can you can it's actually the choice between you and your. I think at that time I was like you and your life. What kind of life you want to live with?、Mm-hmm. Um, so I choose to marry because I want to give a shot.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, not get shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to give a shot and not get shot. Yes. Is 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 incredible what action does, despite even the bad experiences. You know, as you said about marriage, where、um, Paul said, if if it is if it is okay. <laughs> Not based on my my parents' divorce, but if it is okay, you know you can live by yourself. Don't get married.、Mm. But if you know you cannot withstand the heat, marry. Okay. So the all you want to say, all the point you're making is action kills fear, or action kills fear. That negative fear、mm. that is in us. That we we need to qualify that. So. In addition to that, that action, what triggers us? What 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 push us to make that action? The word you say you, in your opening remark, you mentioned that、uh, when you were faced with life situations, one of the things that you you did to resolve it was to reach out to people who have been there, done that, who have passed through that path. So elders in the community, professors, colleagues, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But he said, now I found something, which is what thank God he said. The scripture, the word of God.、Mm-hmm. So the word of God is is is, is said. Your word is what life unto my path. Yes. Right.、Yeah. So the word of God, we can say fear is 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 darkness. People fear. We fear darkness.、Mm-hmm. We fear the unknown.、Mm-hmm. So the word of God comes and shone forth light ahead of you. Say what? Thy word is light unto my path. So、mm-hmm. the word of God opened us into all understanding. Mm-hmm. He give it gives us courage. It gives us it, it, it just it just show you the way. Why、mm-hmm. God is in your boat.、Mm-hmm. Now you, you show me show me show me you know some scriptures that you have、uh, that、it's、you know we can use the, to solve. It, it's、fear. full of this book, uh, this uh, this uh, God scripture, right?、Mm-hmm. Don't fear, just uh, believe, uh, believe in me.、Mm. Um, it's full of that. Like um, I um, I immediately、uh, thought of Peter. Mm. Uh, when Jesus is about to go to the cro-、uh, like cross, he he told Peter actually, right? You are gonna be very fearful, and you will uh, uh, deny me three times.、Mm. And Peter is kind of himself, like he thinks about、well, the fearless person, and he said, "No, no, no, I'm I'm going to like、uh, I won't do that." But in the end, he did. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he did three times exactly.、Uh, he said, "I'm not. I don't know."、Uh, Who the Jesus is?、Uh, he denied. He's is naturally come from his、uh, fear,、mm. uh, but 
God knows that. Absolutely. Yeah, He knows. It's so natural. And uh, he later on, and he Peter realized, right? He realized he had so much fear, like that he lost focus on Jesus, and he went out and he cried. And God knows that. God knows everybody has fear. And that's why full of Bible is saying, don't fear. Okay. Yep. Don't fear, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> some some say some say we have um uh, three hundred and sixty five. Uh, fear not, yeah. Fear not. Do not fear. Mm. Like we have that, like three to five. Uh, it's mentioned three three hundred and sixty five times in the Bible. So which presupposes that every day, mm-hmm. when you wake up, listeners, God is saying, do not fear. Yeah. God says, do not fear. Now, so sh- share me, share me about your your thoughts on Peter. Peter, the same Peter who was yeah. scared. Uh, Peter pre- is a kind the... of very straightforward, very brave man. Uh, I, I like this character in the Bible because mm. it's so like my personality. Mm. Very straightforward, uh, jump on something so easily. And then I soon find out, okay, oh my God, what did I do? Some kind of like that. <laughs> so so what, what is the what is the Peter female, how do we call uh, P, uh, f- the female Peter? Female uh, Peter. Yeah, how do we call it? We need to find a name for the Yeah, you Peter. can call that. I, I, like, I like him a lot. Uh, so uh, everything he said, everything he said, I said, okay, I would say the same thing. Mm. <laughs> I would say the same thing. So um, tell me about the the story about um, Peter walking on the on 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 the sea. Yeah, like uh, um, how can we relate that to fear? Yeah. So there's a there's a story in the Bible says like Jesus um Jesus like uh, made the disciples into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side. What scripture That's, is that? Yeah. It's um Matthew 14, Matthew 14. uh chapter 14. Okay. So uh, 32 to 33. Uh, correct, uh, twenty-two, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, some, so, it's in the night. Mm-hmm. So it, it's in the night. It's, uh, the, uh, it's there's wind blowing and there's waves, and Jesus walk in the sea on the, on the sea, mm-hmm. right? And the, the the disciples saw like him on the sea. He said, "Oh my God, it's a ghost!" They mm-hmm. said, right? They kind of cried out in fear. It's said in the scripture. But Jesus immediately said to them, "Okay." Take courage. It's uh, it is I. Don't don't be, uh, don't be afraid. Yeah. So Peter said, "Lord, if it's you, if he, um, like tell me to come to you on the water." Hmm. But Jesus said, "Come, come. just just one word, come." Hmm. And then uh, the Peter just got a, got out of the boat and walk on the water and came toward Jesus. Hmm. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> but when he saw the wind, he was afraid. Mm. Yeah. Once he he is afraid, he's kind of feeling he's sinking. Mm. Then he is more scared, right? Uh, and um, he cried. I mean, as he said, "Lord, save me, save, save me." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Jesus said, "Right." Jesus said, um, "Jesus, reach out." And they called him, and Jesus said one thing, You of little faith, why did you doubt? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, this, is, uh, this is the first thing when, I, when we talk, it came to my mind when we talk to fear, because I'm always like Peter. Uh, like what I had this week when the manager told me, Okay, we're going to assign you a new role. Would you like to take it? I said, Okay. Uh, I uh, I'm very uh, willing to help. Then I went back. I regret immediately. <laughs> oh my God! What did I do? <laughs> I'm able to make that. Um, oh, I immediately text to uh, Justice, my friend. I made the bad choice. It's a bad news. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> immediate regret. I immediately don't believe. Uh, have fear full of myself. Um, and then uh. This this is scripture like you of little faith. Why you doubt? Why you like ever doubt? So I went back think uh, I think about it. Um, God will help me. Absolutely. Yeah, it's um, this this part whether I can do it or not is an uncertainty. Uh, I leave that to God. But as far as long as I focus in uh, the strength God gave me. Hmm. Uh, God infused me in the strength every day. Uh, I think it's a good experience for me to grow up. 
It's、Absolutely. like this is learning experience to Peter too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, never walked on, and 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 up to today, Peter is the only disciple who has ever walked on water. So somebody will say he's he he was that scary, scary fearful boy guy among the disciples, but none of them、uh-huh. made a move. So to affirm what we're saying that action kills fear, we are saying make the move, and Peter made the move. Now, what can we learn from that? From from Peter's, you know, as you have narrated the story in、um, uh, Matthew fourteen twenty two to thirty three. One, they were scared. They said, "Is that a ghost?" Meaning the the the, the, the weather, you know, the weather that how cloudy, how you know it was night. We can describe it as the future that we do not know. We are entering into, and we imagine so many things. I remember those days in the village. We don't have light in our room. We are sleeping in the darkness. We are imagining maybe there is a big hand coming to catch me. Maybe when I walk here, there is somebody in the corner who is going to pinch me. You know, when the, your mom sends you to go and pee something in the dark, like, I'm not going. You are scared. You cling to your mom. So the same thing, you know, Peter. So in our present day life, we can say the future, not being aware of what is going to happen. Tomorrow or even today, you don't know what's going to happen. Makes you so scary now, so so much afraid. But as they said, Master, is that you? He said, Yes, it is me. He said, If it is you, can I come? He said, Yes, come. So it goes to affirm that when we commit our day, when we commit our issues, when we commit our fears, when we commit our future. When we commit anything that we are going through into the Lord's hand, the Bible said that He said, "What? Come ye unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you what rest." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think、mm-hmm. there is fear in rest. Yeah. So when 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 you I, I love the part you said the way the the one you carried was He got Jesus just said, "Come." So he said, "Today, today, when you hear my voice, do not relent. Come." So Jesus is still extending that hand to whoever is listening to us, to even ourselves, in any area of our life that we are so scared of, the career, relationship, finance, anything, any area of our life that we are so much scared of. Jesus is saying, "Come." That's the first step. Now, the second step, when we make the action and we move. Let's remain focused. Let's remain focused on Jesus. The Bible said that looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, when we rely on Him, He said He will not. He is not a man that He should lie. He said, "This, this is my strength. This is my courage." People can come up with all their, you know, theories and propound all their cool stuff, but this is my strength. My strength is, I know. With God, all things are possible. I know He said He will. He's not a man that He will lie, and His words are yea and amen. So if He Jesus He tells me, I can make it across the finish line. I am the head and not the tail. I am encouraged. So what, this goes back to tell us that what. Any time we are faced with fear, go to the Bible. Confess what God said about your life. Your family may say you are a non-entity. Your friends at the workplace they might embarrass you and say you are you you are a weaker one. Your spouse maybe might might down, disgrace you. Your friends might talk ill about you. Do not go into the corner and cry, but go and encourage yourself with the word of God that. If God says this about me, it's、mm-hmm. true. Somebody was giving an example yesterday.、Mm-hmm. The manufacturer of Apple. What made Apple great? Is it the machine itself or the one who made it? The one who made it. The one who made it, yeah. right? Yeah. So anything manufactured by Apple Corporation,、mm-hmm. who is the best? I'm a big fan of Steve Jobs.、I've、Beautiful. Been, yeah. Right. Lots of his yeah stories. Great.、Yeah. So many. You believe、mm-hmm. in the Creator,、mm-hmm. hence. You have faith in iPhone six.、Mm-hmm. You know, you know what? I'm paying value for my money,、mm-hmm. right? Okay. How about you? Who created you? Yeah. God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if we can trust in man that his produce is a long lasting, the best phone in town in the twenty first century is Apple phone. And we believe because what Steve Jobs did, we believe he's famous. He did so much research, and the product that he came up with is the best one in town. And we believe in his product. 
how much more God? Mm -hmm. How much more God who created you? The Bible said that he created you and me in his image. Mm -hmm. So meaning you have the power of God. He said he breathed into man and man became a living being. Yeah. So which tells me it doesn't matter whatever is happening in my life today. It doesn't matter what tragedy or whatever situation I'm happening going through my life today. It doesn't matter the uncertainties that I have, I'm, I'm going to face in the future. It doesn't matter what the mess. The bad things, the evil things that I have done yesterday, my past things that are haunting me, it doesn't matter. All that matters to me today is I am making an action, taking a move and say that I am looking unto Jesus because what? He made me in his image and his word is yea and amen. I am not listening to the report of my friends. The Bible said that there were spies, there were, the, the spies were sent to the land to go and watch the land. Mm -hmm. And out of eight people, ten people, yeah. eight came with a bad report. Yeah. Said, you know what, there are giants on the land. They were scared. They were scared. The yeah. eight were scared. But the two said, our God who gave us that, who said we will have that land. We will have that land. Why? Joshua and Caleb had faith in God. Mm -hmm. So, you see, some of us just pay lip service with the word of God. When we say, oh, uh, okay, I'm a Christian. But when the situation happens, mm -hmm. then we begin to run away. Mm -hmm. But I have come to realize that when you are faced with life and you stand, and the songwriter says that, will your anchor hold in the storms of life? Mm -hmm. Look, Christians... When the issues of life are happening at your workplace, you know, as you are saying, when the tough things happen, tough decisions happen, even in your marriage, in your relationship, when you, your bank account, you know, there is no money, how are you going to pay your bill the next month? I want you to believe in God that Jesus is the author and finisher of your faith. That, when that is resolved, mm -hmm. any move you make, you are bound to succeed. And, and I would like us to take a look at some of some, some examples in the Bible, how this thing relates. They, they, these were men who lived, under, who lived and they practiced this faith, you know, and they overcame their fear. The first person I want us to talk about, since we are ladies, they say ladies first. So <laughs> I, 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 would like, I would like to talk <laughs> about Esther, about it, yeah. right? So I would like to read a scripture um, from the book of Esther. Esther um, chapter 4, verse uh, 16. It says that we all know that but from the verse, verse 16 is when he made the action. Right, so uh, let me give a quick background about the story. We all know the story about of Esther. Esther, here she was. Here she was. She she became a queen, and 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 somebody wanted to just destroy the children of Israel, just to put it short. And now his uncle sent her a message. Say, hey, you are in the palace, but we are not free. Mm -hmm. We are going to die tomorrow. We are going to die. There is a decree that has already gone on that we should die. And if you do not do anything, despite you are in the palace, you are going to die also. Why? Because you are also a Jewish, mm -hmm. a Hebrew child. So, which means that sometimes we, 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 we get scared of our family lineage. Yes. Yeah. As you rightly yeah. said, that some people are scared to go into marriage because mother was divorced, daddy was, you know, friend, sister was divorced, uncle was divorced, the family is divorced, 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 divorced. Then now, you say me to make a go, I should go and marry. <laughs> I'm not marrying. I'm so scared. The lineage, we know there are some bad things that are in the lineage. There are some families, when you call them, there are some disease or illness associated with them. There are some sicknesses associated with them. So, growing up in that family, you're like, oh, I'm already scared. I'm just 15, but I'm scared of hypertension. I'm, I'm, I'm just scared. I'm, I'm, I'm just 12 years old, but I'm, I'm scared of the diabetes. Why? Because my grand, great, 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 great grandfather had it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, nobody's, we, our whole family, poverty has, poverty is like a sad name in our family. So we are poor. So you are scared. Why? Because of your blood lineage. But the Bible said that when Esther identified that this is a life and death situation and she need to change her family destiny, the Bible said that, and I'll read what she said. In Esther, the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 16. And when you are also going through issues of life, when it looks like your entire family is going to be wiped off, when it looks like your entire world is, going to, is coming to an end, is going to crash on you, read this scripture, Esther 4, 16. It said, go. Esther was telling this, to, replying to his, her uncle. Go, gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat 
or drink for three days, night or day. And I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Mm -hmm. What do we learn? What do, I, what, what do I want to practical thing I want to give to somebody, all of us who are listening, even myself? Three days fasting mm -hmm. is a fast for crisis. Yeah. When you are facing something that you cannot bear, when you are facing a situation that you, you, you don't know, it could be a general, if you have grown to identify a generational curse in your family, fast three days, dry fasting. It's a day and night. So meaning you're not going to eat even in the, in the, in the night. So 72, 24 hours, 72 hours, 72 hours. Yeah. fast, seek the face of God. Let your entire household close your kitchen door, close, even if it's your children, close everything. You are in a crisis. This, this, this works, mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. this works. Take an action. It doesn't matter. Is, is your finances going? You are going bankrupt. Is your relationship going down the drain? You are like, you, you, the other spouse has already gone to file a divorce. Is it a, a, a debt that is coming on you? Is it a career challenge that is coming on you? They, they are threatening you. you your life is, is, is on the verge of going to sink. Enter into a three days fast. Believe in God. Trust in God that he will make it. Esther fasted three days. The Bible said that the entire household of Jews, they fasted. Mm -hmm. And she said, if I perish, I perish. And I want you, when you are praying, when you are doing this fast, let this scripture be your, 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 your scripture to stand on. Say, God, even in the Old Testament, Jesus didn't come by that time. But they believed that when they seek the face of God, something will happen. So it also gives us a, an antidote that we read the word. We go to the word when we have issues mm -hmm. to cure fear, fear. We need to take action and read the Bible. Now, every instruction that is in the Bible, we should take, we should take advantage of it. We should, we should move into action. Mm -hmm. So we should fast. Fast and pray. Those are the antidote. So did, did she win? Did they win the battle? Yeah. They won. Yeah. The guy who went and set up the, 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 the whatever they call it to hang them, if you fast in your genuineness, seeking, not running to... You see, when you're, you see, some of us, we fear because when the issues of life hit us, instead of us to tell God, we go tell men. Yeah, we seek the wrong person. We, see, we yeah. seek the wrong counselors. counselors. Let your counselor be God. Let your mediator be God because he is the unbiased judge. He is the God who is on your favor. He is with you. He said, when you go through the fires, I am with you. When you go through the waters, I am with you. I will not leave you, but he said, I am with you. Look, did God demonstrate it? He was with the three Hebrew guys when they were in the burning fiery furnace. The Bible said that after they put them in the furnace, of course, their story alone is also a demonstration of fear, overcoming fear, mm -hmm. right? But the Bible said that, in the interest of time, but the Bible said that when they were in the burning fairy furnace, the king said, have we not put three men into the fire? But I can see four men, and the fourth person looked like the son of man. Mm -hmm. Jesus was not born by then. Mm -hmm. But when they believed in God, when they trusted in God, the songwriter said that, when we, when we trust in the Lord, when we trust in the Lord, in the light of his word, what a glory he shall shine forth our way. I pray unto the life of somebody listening at the voice, at the sound of our voice this morning, that when you trust in the Lord, let your trust not be in men, but he said, my hope is in the Lord. Let your hope, let your trust be in the Lord. And he will shine forth a light in your path. Is it a sickness? Maybe somebody at the sound of my voice this morning, you are sick. You are, you are, you are downhearted. You, you, the doctor has just pronounced you that you have just some few hours to live. But I, I have come with a message to you. The fact that the children of Israel, the, the Jewish children, the children of God did not die, but they lived. Esther survived the season that the enemy 
sickness that want to kill them, that sickness that want to kill you, that job loss that want to kill you, that financial crisis that want to kill you, that divorce that want to break your family apart. I pray today that as you stand and walk in the light of God and you trust God, He said, I will not rely on anybody. I don't want to repeat the past history, but I want God to vindicate me. You are wrongfully accused for something you did not do. You have been called onto something that you do. You have no issue about. You don't know anything about. But they have implicated you. You are in the court. You have been going to court and it looks as if the judgment is going to go against you. But I have come with a message to somebody at the sound of my voice this morning that the God who vindicated who on earth would have imagined that these three Hebrew guys would have come out victorious? Who would have imagined mm -hmm. that Daniel would have come out victorious? The, the Bible said the king looked at this say, Daniel, I could have, I could have, I could have done anything, but my seal is on the decree. Mm -hmm. I cannot change it. Yeah. But let the Bible say something so beautiful. Let me just read it. Time is against it, but let me just read it. Let me just it's, it's, maybe it's a word to somebody. It's a word to somebody. When Daniel was implicated, the very people that he saved their neck. They are the very people who went and concocted story and let the king wrote a decree that anybody who worship any other god will do what should be should be thrown into the lion's den. Mm -hmm. But when they were about to put Daniel in in the lion's den, this was what the king said. And let me look for that. So the king gave order. And they brought Daniel. I'm reading um, uh, Daniel chapter 6. Okay, when you read the entire chapter 6, it talks about the story. And I want to read the verse, the verse um, um, from verse 16 down. It says, So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him in the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, Listen to what the king said to Daniel in verse 16. Jan Daniel 6, verse 16. May your God. Whom you serve continually rescue you. Mm -hmm. Friend, when men cannot rescue you, when your wisdom cannot rescue you, when your knowledge and your experience cannot rescue you, your faithfulness to God will rescue you. Bible said that the king told Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, Somebody has been serving God for years and you felt that the more you serve God, it looks like the more your life is torn apart. But I have come with a message to you today that let your enemy declare to you that may your God that you serve save you. May your God that you serve continually save you. We have seen it, God done it to Daniel. The Bible said that he was thrown into the lion's den. And at dawn, the king woke up. Okay? The king woke up when you when you when you when you when you read the verse 19 he said at first light of dawn mm -hmm. the king got up and hurried to the lion's den verse 20 when he came near the den he called to daniel i'm even getting my, my i'm getting my 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 my, 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 my i'm just getting i don't know how mm -hmm. to express it yeah the king could not sleep the whole night and he called to Daniel in an anguished voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you continually serve, been able to rescue you from the lions? And the verse 21 said, Daniel answered, May the king live forever. May the God, my God, send his angels. And he shut the mouth of the lions. May God shut the mouth of any spirit, of any power, of any curse. You see, some of us are suffering today. Some of us are scared today because of some things that happened in the past. Because of some covenants that we, we, we have covenanted in the past. Because of some situation that we have gone through in the past. But tonight, I have, this morning, I have come with a message that whatever covenant that has been entered into, that is not of the Lord. But as you have seen the light today, we pray that, oh God, let all those curses be broken.
broken in the name of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus and we seal you from your past. Just as the Lord, the Bible said that the end when they left Israel, the Bible said that the, what, the, the king, the Egyptian king, mm -hmm. sent the troops to go and bring them back. To come and pull them back yeah. to the slavery. Yeah. Any spirit, any pharaoh contingent that has been sent to come and bring you back to slavery. I pray that may the flood of God overtake them in the name of Jesus. And we pray today that as you make a move, the point we are standing on as we end tonight our broadcast is that the first thing you can use to kill fear is to take an action. And not an action based on your human understanding, but an action based on the word of God. And when you move, God is with you. Mm -hmm. And with God, all things are possible. And you are more than a conqueror. I want to hear your final word. Wow. We encourage you to be fearless, take action. We also, based on the uh, uh, action, uh, this action actually based on the fear of Lord. Amen. Yeah, we speak of not fear, but we speak of the right fear. Mm. Um, there's um, from proverb, uh, it's good to say uh, like chapter 28, mm. um, 14th. Blessed is the man who always fears the Lord, mm. but he who hardens his heart fails into trouble. Mm. So, Fear the Lord, that's the fear we should like have, mm. should have that, and then we are blessed. So we keep the focus on the fear of the Lord, mm. Lord. then we take tremendous action because Lord encouraged Joshua to walk, mm. um, to walk around the, what do you say? The wall. The wall also first, Jericho. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The walk, walk is the action. Mm. Then you, the result comes. If you don't walk, there's no uh, results. Mm. Yeah. Mm. God bless also requires you to act mm. based on the fear of him mm. Mm. and trust, tremendous trust, tremendous fear. Mm. Mm. You see, I just picked something from what you just said. Mm -hmm. Some of us have all the Bible verses and all the scriptures in, in us. And, and we, we compounded it in us. And we, are, we, we have rendered the word of God null and void by not taking action. Friend, you can have all the Bible scriptures. And you can respect God, fear God, reference Him and do everything. But if you do not make a move, your faith is dead. Mm -hmm. So we are pleading with you, those who already have the word. Those who already know that Jesus is the last stop. Take it and move. Take it and walk. Even if all is not clear to you, just begin to move. As you begin to move, God will show his light forth. And those of us who have not yet, or have not yet identified that the word is the light onto our path, we pray this morning that let the word of God be the pace setter for you. Be the initiator for you. That as you rely on the word of God, it will propel you to take an action, a faith-based action that will help you to conquer. Yeah, the action, you don't need to take a tremendous change um, because that's not applicable. Mm -hmm. We have been um, seeing this a lot of times, uh, especially in the relationship, uh, the marriage relationship. In um, Lots of people are complaining each other in the marriage. Mm -hmm that the husband doesn't want to make a change, the wife doesn't want to make a change, because, uh, and we have been like giving the words to them. Okay, according to the Bible, um, God encourages you to, like the wife to respect the husband and the husband to love the wife. But lots of people just cannot do it. So we encourage you to do a little step by a little step. Mm. Like, the moment you want to say some t harsh word to your wife, just hold it mm. a little bit. Mm. Then you practice, hold a little bit longer next mm. time. Mm. The moment the wife wants to discard your husband, you hold like you do something else, take a th breath and do something else. Mm. 
then then you you learn. Okay, this is I can do it. Next time you can、uh, do it. Like you don't just say it, and then you get used to that. You will say some beaut like nice words to your husband. So your relationship get better and better. Ah,、uh, that's what have I have been going through. Cause I'm like like I said, I'm I was like the Peter. I like jump the gun a lot, so I don't think when I speak. But then I realize I have to control my tongue, ah,、uh, because I I want to be my, I I I want to serve a constructed role, constructed role everywhere in my family, my work. So I think some I learn to think a little bit, okay, back out a little bit. I think okay, is this gonna. Build up someone, or this is gonna discourage someone.、Mm. So then, gradually, you become mature in、uh, people's eye. You get getting mature. That's how, like, when you tell somebody, "Okay, I'm forty years old," but you speak like a ten years old,、mm. it it's not good.、Mm. You take action day by day, then then you grow up.、Mm. So that's my uh. Very applicable、um, recommendations to everyone who wants to practice the word, the word, but doesn't know how where to start.、Mm-hmm. We call it a stretch zone,、uh, with out of a little bit out of your comfort zone,、mm-hmm. because it's doable, but it's not so out of your reach.、Mm-hmm. So, just do it. Yeah. Just do it, <laughs> as Nike said. <laughs> so take a step, baby step, every day. The baby who walks today, today that you are walking, you did not just jump up from the bed, from the baby crib, and begin to walk.、Yeah. You took baby step little by little. You got up, you you fall down, you got up, you fall, little by little. That's what David said. The Bible said that though I I fall down seven times, I will rise up again.、Mm-hmm. So rise up from your mat, rise up from where you are, and begin to. Take that baby step, and be persistent and consistent. And as Hua said, you will overcome. Just do it. Jesus loves you. Till we meet you again, stay blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs>